is, I think, uh, his third season somehow, and is carrying on uh, his point of view that, again, it's all about uh, uh, individuality, about the creating characters, and each character has uh, a lot to say about herself through her clothes, starting from the jewelry, the hats, the glasses, uh, the clothes that lay one on top of each other. I love it all Alessandra Michele is doing there, you know, this eclectic, eccentric girl that appears on the runway season after season. She has this free spirit and she knows no decade. I love the idea that it was touched by the 80s, by the 70s, the 60s and even the 50s. It's incredible what he's brought to the Milan landscape. I think it's contributed to making this a very strong season. You know, he has a very strong woman and a vision and it's very eclectic and vintagey and um, a little bit hippie and all the kind of animal references and has a, an immense amount of charm. The styling is always exceptional especially with all the interesting details of sequin skirts with broad-shouldered sweaters. Gorgeous evening gowns. It almost looked like they're plucked out of the 1930s. Hats that had veils across their faces. And then really super fun first. It had a big diamond emblazoned on the back with a double G logo that looked as if it was spray painted. I like the way that he has some of these continuum threads through his collections. Shows some of the same pieces in different fabrications from season to season. And I like the idea that he's not making the wardrobe instantly redundant next season, you know. So I think it's very interesting what he's done. Everybody says that Alessandro revolutionized uh, fashion when he arrived on the scene at Gucci, but he really sees himself as an evolutionary. What he does is he has a particular aesthetic that each season he's going to tweak just a little bit and make it progress slowly but surely. What we saw this time was a bit more of a toughening up, a little bit more street. You had that kind of toughness that was brought in in a way that um, hadn't been seen before. It was more romantic. The romance was still there, but it was a bit stronger, tougher romance. <laughs> He's pulling from everything and everywhere and bringing it together in a superlative way. So it's a real great Gucci moment and any girl that likes to really kind of express her own individuality, she's a Gucci girl. Alessandro, you know, refining his message, but I think also pushing it too. It's really his moment uh, in, in fashion right now. And, and I think we can attribute the very decorated and uh, maximalist uh, sort of sensibility that's, you know, happening this week and, you know, in fashion in general to him. He's super influential right now.